Hey guys, today I'm going to do my top 10 most owned authors and I'm not filming in front of my shelf today because once I took these books off the shelf it was basically empty. I'm going to start with like the bottom of the list. So there are three authors that I own three of their books and the first one is Stephanie Perkins. I own Anna and the French Kiss as well as Lola and the Boy Next Door. I recently bought the third book, Isla and the Happily Ever After, and I did pre-order it for the signed copy. I also own three of Ernest Hemingway's books, A Farewell to Arms, The Old Man in the Sea, and The Sun Also Rises, and I have not read any of these books although I definitely plan to. And then I also own all three of the Hunger Games books by Suzanne Collins. The next author I have four books of is Gail Foreman. I own If I Stay and the companion book Where She Went. And then I also own Just One Day and I have the audiobook for Just One Year and it's signed because I won it in a Twitter contest that Gail Foreman had. Now my favorite author, I own five of his books and he doesn't have any more than that yet. So obviously I would have more but he only has five and that is Marcus Zizak and I own The Book Thief and I have another copy of this somewhere in the house and most people have heard of this. And I also own I Am The Messenger, which is a really, really excellent book that he wrote after that. And then I have, this is actually three books. It is called Underdogs, but it contains The Underdog, Fighting Reuben Wolf, and Getting the Girl. I just really, really love these books. Yeah, I just, I love Marcus Zizek's writing. I will definitely buy anything he ever writes. I know he's been working on a book for ages and I cannot wait until it comes out. My next most owned author is John Green. I own, I think, six books by John Green. Obviously I own The Fault in Our Stars. My mom is currently reading it, so this is just the jacket. I have Let It Snow, which contains one of his stories along with Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle, and these are three holiday romance stories. Really, really fun. I have Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which he wrote with David Levithan, also a great book. I have Paper Towns, An Abundance of Catherines, and Looking for Alaska. My next most owned author is J.K. Rowling, and I have her Tales of Beetle the Bard. I have her two little books, Quidditch Through the Ages and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then I obviously own the Harry Potter series. I have the first four in paperback, and I have the last three in hardcover. I got all of these at midnight release parties when they first came out. All of them were purchased for me by my grandmother who has always supported my reading addiction and she always really enjoyed taking me to these book parties. Even though they went super late and they were mega nerdy, I just really really love these books. They mean a lot to me because of my grandmother and because of the memories attached to the nights where I got them. My next most owned author is Lemony Snicket. I own 14 of his books. 13 of those books are the series of unfortunate events, of which I own all in hardcover, and then I also own his unauthorized autobiography. My second most owned author is Shakespeare, which is a little weird because this is not something I would have ever done on my own, but I took a Shakespeare class and I now own, I think, 15 of his works. I have Romeo and Juliet and Richard III, which I read for my class. I also own Love's Labor's Lost. I own four comedies, which includes The Taming of the Shrew, A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Merchant of Venice, and Twelfth Night. I also own The Late Romances, which is Pericles, Cymbeline, The Winter's Tale, and The Tempest. We read The Winter's Tale and The Tempest, and we read all four of these. And then I also own Four Tragedies, which we did not use for the class, although she did make us buy this, so I was a little bit upset. But this includes Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, and Macbeth, and I have not read any of these, although I plan to. And surprise, surprise, my number one most owned author is... C.S. Lewis. I own his Chronicles of Narnia. This is a vintage box set. I have read the first three and I plan to finish 
the series before this year is over. I also own another fictional book that he wrote called Till We Had Faces, which I have not read yet. I own several works of theology and apologetics written by him, which includes The Weight of Glory, A Grief Observed, Miracles, The Abolition of Man, The Problem of Pain, and Mere Christianity, and I have read all of those. I own a collection of essays on theology and ethics, which is called The God in the Dock, and I have not read this. And I own th this beautiful copy, which includes Surprised by Joy and The Four Loves. This is a gorgeous hardback. I just love this. And I have read both of these and enjoyed them thoroughly. Surprised by Joy is actually a bit of an autobiography about C.S. Lewis and his life and his conversion to Christianity. And The Four Loves is just a book about the different ways that we love things and people. So yeah, that is my most owned authors. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the authors that I own and I will see you in my next video. Bye!